commission appointment of commissioners who have made it very clear that um, we have a bone of contention in particular with uh, the appointment of uh, a commissioner uh, who is the daughter of Mohadi uh, because as I've explained that it's got a bearing on the integrity and the independence of uh, the commission. Look, uh, uh, Mohadi is an electoral uh, contender in the 2020 election as vice president and it has got a bearing on obviously its integrity because one can't be a judge where they are an interested party in. And then in terms of the action, look, we, we have said, number one, we are going to be using parliament as the point of entry to make sure that we uh, question and find redress to the issue of this particular appointment. Number two, we believe that uh, to save whatever is left of the integrity of the commission, the said commissioner must just resign. If you read and listen to the interview, that was any right-thinking Zimbabwe can tell that the person is not fit for the job. It is, it is no brainer, it is no conversation. So anyone interested to not just to the fidelity of the commission to the constitution, but also to its credibility, whatever is left of sex credibility can be served by making sure that the said person must be able to resign. And we obviously, in terms of our third course of action, we, as a citizens' coalition for change, we have said that the commissioner must resign and do the right thing because we don't want to invoke Section 59 of the Zimbabwean Constitution as a point of end and exercise our displeasure through uh, petitioning and demonstrating against the commission. So we believe that there is room uh, for uh, this thing to be addressed before we invoke uh, Section 59 of the Zimbabwean Constitution. If you look at... Um, the recent debate around the um, Zeki Commissioner, who happens to be um, a child of a member of ZANU-PF, a vice president, is a worrying trend because objectivity, just like justice, must not just be seen, but must be felt to be done. That is the basic principle. And principles of natural justice, which obviously, we have uh, obviously been worried by the fact that our members of parliament have not been uh, uh, co-opted into the Standing Order and Rules Committee, which was interviewing uh, uh, ZEC commissioners. And this assault and undermining of the legislature in Zimbabwe is a big problem because Zimbabwe cannot continue in the pathway of executive tyranny. We are constitutional democracy. The judiciary must be independent. The legislature must be able to hold the executive to account. And the legislature must be allowed to do the law, must be able to construct the law, and must be able to be independent. And of course, the executive must be able to conduct itself in the manner detected by the constitution in this country. But the current present system is dominance of the executive and polarization of institutions of government and undermining of rule of law and the principle of separation of power. So we believe that those issues must be resolved. Parliament must be allowed to do its work so that there is credibility and sex fidelity to the constitution. It has upset, has got a bearing in how citizens participate uh, in the election. So that's why we are going to be launching our program. And we think that the Zimbabwe Electoral Commission and anyone interested in the Zimbabwe electoral process must be able to ensure that they conduct itself in a manner <coughs> detected by the law. Because the Citizens Coalition for Change is interested just like any other stakeholder in the electoral process so that we are able to resolve the issue of successive disputed election that has poisoned our politics and consequently affected the governance and the economy in this country.